Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Painting Han. Today, I'm going to be painting something fun, which is a beautiful betta fish. We are going to be using pen and watercolor. I sketched it on scratch paper while I have free time, and I finally chose this uh, composition, and I sketched it in advance. Especially, we are going to use micro O3 pen and bright violet or sort of a blue, turquoise and ultramarine deep, and orange and white gouaches. And brushes, Da Vinci brush and general the fine line brush. I start by drawing out the rough outlines. We only need the body shape. Okay, this feta fish looks so beautiful and fantastic colors. First draw over and letter S for the body shape and define the face as and fins and tail, even cute to eyes. I draw the tail very lovely. I just want to make sure that I have nice shape of the fish and some movement, okay? Move on to the next step. We are going to be using a pen. Just to follow the pencil lines, little by little, one after the other. Draw eyes and mouth. And draw the lines at regular interval in tail and fin area. No all fish tail and fin area because some parts are a bit folded. So we draw more layer to the folded area of the tail. And I recommend you choose a pen a bit thin. I'm using micro O3 pen now. I'm trying to make the lines quite clean and thin. Okay? I used to old 8 pen before it was too thick it's totally up to you but uh, I recommend you a little bit thinner pen use it okay And no worry about that, just to follow the pencil line with the pen, one by one and one after the others, little by little, okay. Okay, next we are start to paint. I'm starting with orange. Take a bit of orange on the body area and clean water. Add on the orange. And adding some little of bright violet. Next for the tail, I'm so excited to paint the tail area.
because we are gonna use a lot of water on the paper area and colors they will be spread and together so first wash the paper with enough water and take watery turquoise blue put on the water next I'm just going to add on the consistency of blue while the surface is still damp so the paint will naturally blend together okay then slightly uh, tilt the paper okay and look at the paper the surface of the paper slight uh, slight uh, sparkles cause uh, water I really like this kind of effect some kind of abstract effect I really like that okay And now switch the brush in I'm using general the fine line brush and take an orange put uh, around the edge of the tail and take a bright violet add on the tail area I really want to paint with loose style and get uh, drawn dreamy and fantastic colors why right? look at that it looks so beautiful why right? Now I'm taking a, a bright violet. I'm starting thin with the bright violet and add some cream water and dilute the paint and adding orange on the thin as a second layer. And draw the mouth a bit with a very watery orange. I want to give some depth on tail. I'm using the creamy blue color for here. I'll be back when I'm done uh, second fish. Move on to the small fish. This fish pose is a little bit strange upside down, right? Because I want to make a fairy tale story. Um, they are talking happily now. They talking together, so yeah. Apply water. Take a very uh, thinner consistency blue. I'm going to add on tail while the surface is still wet. On the body, I'm adding bright violet. Make it look three dimension. Take some bright violet, put on the edge of the tail area. This paper still holds enough water to bleed colors together. Now using spreader technique on the background and fish. And we are almost at the end. I'm going to use white gouache. Make sure the highlight part with white gouache. And I'm using the spreader technique, white and uh, purple colors. I'm trying to look in nature and get some air in the uh, painting. Let, uh, lately on the body of the fish, give them some depth with blue. But I feel like that a uh, kind of this painting try to not focus too much on the, uh, on the detail, right? Okay.
Okay, we are all done this painting. I hope you had as good a time as I did. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. It means a lot to me for making new videos. Thank you for watching till the end and I will see you at the next video. Bye!